All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's just Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Um, I want to go on this quick topic, you know, about how uh, we're likened as trees and as truth, you know. Um, first off, I want to start off with this scripture. 2 Peter 1 and 20, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, right? So the prophecies that are in the Bible, man didn't make these prophecies, you know? You got, I'm going to continue. It says, but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost, right? Now, you got certain books in the Bible, uh, Joel, Hosea, Daniel, Ezekiel, you know, these were prophets of the Lord, you know? The Lord always used men to... He always spoke to, to men, you know, to basically tell the world what was going on, you know, what was going to, what was going to happen, what the Lord was going to do, you know, in the, in the, whether, well, a lot of these people like Isaiah, Jeremiah, you know, they, they spoke about, you know, great future prophecies, a lot of these prophets, you know. Even in the, the New Testament, you know, Matthew, Mark, you know, these were men, you know, who, who were moved by the Holy Spirit, you know. So the Lord always used men from the very beginning to, to he, he revealed those secrets to his prophets, you know. So the, the Bible, if it was by the will of man, you know, Isaiah would have been saying something totally different than a lot of these other guys you know but these the everybody it, it all comes in together full circle you know so the scriptures is it isn't written by the will it, it wasn't made by the will of man the so-called white man or any anybody else you know because you have a lot of people who say that you know but when we're going to this, this topic you know i'm, I'm gonna start off with the scripture Mark 8 and 24, and he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking, right? Now, this this scripture, you know, it's, it's a simple scripture, you know, but men parabolically are trees, you know? That's one of the reasons why the scripture says be fruitful and multiply, you know? Even in the, the very beginning, the the uh Adam and Eve days, you know, the fruit that basically Eve uh sorry, so like my, my computer is moving kinda slow for whatever reason. But basically from the Adam and Eve days when the Lord told Eve not to uh not to wait, I'm gonna, here go to a uh, verse right here. It's uh, Genesis 3 and 1. Now the serpent were was more subtle than any beast of the field, right? Now the we refer to human beings as as, as snakes, you know. But more more specifically, but more specifically, it says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, and the body was all parabolic, you know. It's, it says uh which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, have have God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. You know? Every tree. Now, when you go back to that scripture, it says, it's, I see men as trees walking. You know? So, the serpent was one of those trees that the Lord told Adam not to... Uh, to listen to, you know, not to bite into his philosophy, you know, 
and that serpent today would be the so-called white man, you know, which no, which is known as Esau or Edomites according to the Bible, right? Now I want to go into my this lesson, you know. Basically, the the point was made about how trees, how men are trees, right? Um, Luke three and seven. Then say he to the multitude that came forth to the to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers. Right now, when you look at viper, isn't a isn't a viper a form of snake? Right, the same way how this scripture says now the serpent. You have certain guys that know that they're Israelites. You know that are just straight up vipers, right? It says, O generation of vipers, who have who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth, therefore, fruits. It's trees, right? Bring forth, therefore, fruits worthy of repentance. Now, when you have a tree, right, the tree has seeds, and the seeds often fall onto the floor. Right, and then they bring more fruit, right? Well, that's the same way with this truth. It says, Bring forth, therefore, fruits worthy of repentance, you know, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that the Most High is able to, I mean, able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid onto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bring, bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Right? Now, the thing is, right, that us being in this truth, you know, we have to bring, bring forth... Uh, um, turn, uh, re teach this word, you know, and the Lord, you know, he's the one who really wakes up the people, you know, he's the one who really tells or, 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 or determines who's going to make it or not, you know, who's going to wake up, you know, but our job is to go out here and teach this word the right way, you know. Not as, as snakes or being sneaky, but the right way, you know? And if you're not doing things the right way, the scripture says that the axe is laid onto the root of the tree. So the Lord is going to root those trees up. You know, he's going to chop them down. And a lot of these camps like IUIC, ISUPK, you know, the Lord is just going to chop those down, you know, because they're not really bringing fruits worthy of repentance. You know, it says every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. So those that they're, they're in danger of being casted into the fire, you know, being destroyed thermonuclear missiles, you know. Proverbs 11 and 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, right? And that's what we hear at GMS is, you know. You know, from, from apost the apostles on down. It says the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, you know. These, these scriptures give you life, you know. And we're being fruitful, you know, righteously, you know. It says, and he that winneth souls is wise. And that's what we out here to do, man. We're not out here to try to uh, tell people about hey, the earth is flat or, you know, the zodiac and stuff like that. We're here to tell people, like, hey, get right with the Lord, you know. If, if, it's either you're going to get right or you're going to get destroyed, you know. And, and, and even going deeper into the scriptures, you know, studying, you know, applying them, you know. This is all for the hopes of winning souls, you know? And 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 also 
we got to save our own self, you know, so that we're not chopped down when that time comes, you know. It says, behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth, right? So after all the stuff that we see right now going on in this world, you know, we're in slavery, we're in captivity, you know, we're trying to get up out of here, you know, that's that, that the Lord is going to recompense us. You know, he's going to he's going to give us that everlasting life. You know, it says much more the wicked and the sinner. Right now, the wicked is the so-called white man and the sinner is these wicked trees, you know, among Israel. You know, the wicked has a tree, you know, and the sinners, they have a tree, you know, and they all going to get cut down and they're going to, you know, be destroyed. It says Daniel 12 and 3. And they that be wise shall sign is the brightness of the firmament, firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness, you know, is, is the, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he that went of souls is wise. It says, and they that turn many to righteousness is the stars forever and never. You know, so that's the main goal, you know, is turning the, the hopeful elect. You know, teaching is where to the hopeful elect, you know, because the Lord has an elect that that's going to get saved from from this destruction that's coming, you know. Luke 13 and six. He spake also this parable, a certain man had had a fig tree planted in his vi vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. And that's the, the, the same way how there's a tree, you have guys that just aren't bringing any fruit. You go into their YouTube videos, they don't have any videos or, you know, it, it, they're not a part of any camp and, you know, they, they just not teaching. But, but as soon as it's to try to come towards GMS, they have no problem with that, you know. It says, then say he unto the dresser of his vineyard. Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down, why cumbereth it to the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. And, you know, the Lord is basically being patient, you know with that you know but at the end of the day you got a lot of these guys that aren't being fruitful you know and, and, and by the lord being patient you know he's giving you a chance to to repent if you are the elect you know to to get your your mind right you know but other than that you're in danger of being cast into the fire you know being destroyed this is luke 23 and 29 it says behold for behold the days are coming, and the which they shall say, blessed are the burn, you know? And, and, and as trees, you have guys that are basically fig trees with no fruit, you know? And guys are basically telling these scoffers, you know, the scoffers when they unite, hey, blessed are y'all guys, you know, y'all coming against GMS, you know? The the ones that's teaching the right doctrine, y'all are y'all doing y'all thing, man, you know? It don't matter what you what you saying, you know, as long as you come in against GMS, you're doing the right thing. You know? And that's what Yahweh saw. You know, this scripture is 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 many fold, you know. It says, Blessed are the burn, right? And the wombs that never bear. And the paps which never which never gave suck. Right? Because that's what they say nowadays, you know, when it comes to the women, you know. Blessed are you because you, you can't handle no child or you can just uh, have sex all day. You know, you ain't never had no children. That's a good thing. And, you know, the paps which never gave suck. But more importantly, on this lesson, we're talking about these trees, you know. And and us as trees, you know, we the, guys are, you know, they're not being fruitful, you know. The, they're not bringing forth fruit that's meant for repentance, or meet for repentance, you know. They're they're just coming against the, the truth, you know, and those trees are going to get cut down. Right? 
Now, uh, Matthew 25, and I'm going to start at 30. It says, and cast ye the unprofitable servant, because that's what those guys are, you know, unprofitable servants, you know. The Lord gave us a job, you know, to, to go out here, teach people, bring them into the truth, and, and, and turn convert the sinners, you know, to be fishers of men, you know. And that's what we, we out here doing, you know, us here at GMS, you know, from the apostles on down. It says, and cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them from one from one another. As a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right, Come ye blessed of my father, which is the elect, and heard the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and ye gave me meat, you know. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me, right? Now, as, as, as we here at GMS, you know, them that be wise sign is the brightness of the firmament, you know. We go into, you know, the media part of the scriptures, but we don't give, we don't give meat to babes, you know. You know, we out here teaching the right way, you know, and, 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 and can't nobody say that we're not doing, you know, what it takes to, you know, get up out of here, you know, as far as keeping the scriptures and doing what's necessary. You know, it says I was thirsty and you gave me drink. You know, we always putting up videos, you know, always putting up videos. It says I was a stranger and you took me in. Answering a, a sincere brother, you know, that that wants to get it, you know, yeah, we'll we're, we're deal with them. It says naked and you clothe me. We, we put we putting the right garments on, on the people, you know, giving them the right knowledge. You know, it says I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. And it, these scriptures is very parabolic man you know we all we all sick man you know we all need healing you know we, we all going through something you know nobody is 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 you know going through something that the next man ain't going through or have haven't already been through you know and we in prison you know we we need we, we prison as a hope you know we hoping to get up out of here you know so we hoping to 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 reach the elect, man, and we're going to reach the elect. That's the, that's one of the promises from the Lord. It says, "Then saw the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungry, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we, I mean, when saw we thee sick, or in prison?" And came unto thee. And the king answered and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. You know? So if you sitting up there saying that a God just because a God looks a certain way, you know, he don't have the, the right garments, you know, he ain't Whatever, you know, if, if, as long as the guy is trying to do what's necessary for the for the Lord, you know, and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and having the faith, that's what it's really about, you know. And if you do that onto that guy, you're doing it to Yahweh Shah, you know. It says, then, say, then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. So basically, if you if you not doing the right thing, man, you're not teaching the right doctrine, you know, you're not being fruitful, you know. 
you're going to get destroyed, man. Along with 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 Satan, you well not Satan, Salakia. Well, what 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 uh, Esau, you know? Because Esau is the devil, man. You know, and hopefully with that, hopefully your brothers was was edified, you know. And 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 I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you, by some y'all saw, you know, for for putting the spirit on me for doing this lesson, you know. Shalom.